Hey guys, I'm Evergreen and in this video I am going to be taking a look and reviewing the MSI Clutch GM11 gaming mouse. Uh, the first section of the video is going to be the unboxing, probably, and my first impressions. And the second part is going to be the review, so make sure to stick around if you want to know what I think of the mouse. Uh, probably after like a week or so. So yeah! Anyway, let's just get into the video. I think that's going to be a thing now. I have to slide this across my desk every time I want to open something. So yes, here is the Amazon box. And I've got a piece of paper here because I feel like there's details on there. And I can't be bothered to edit that out, so... Oh my gosh, my hand is so red. Sorry, that's just the webcam. I guess let's just open it. Meh. I have absolutely no idea how to open this thing. This doesn't feel right. Yeah, no. There we go. Oh, <gasps> Yo, it's in there. Something in there. Hey, this feels so light compared to my G5. Eh, it's about the same. To be fair, this feels heavier, which is a little bit worried about that. So let's just open this thing up then, if I can. Oh, yeah. I, I, for, I didn't even know MSI did mice until a YouTuber mentioned it. Apparently, this thing can drag click. I'd like to test that out. Yo, it's in here. And there it is. Wow. Seems quite... Seems quite small. Here's the cable. Interesting material. Here it is. It's so exciting. I don't sound excited, but it's, this is really exciting. And here, here it is. Oh, that feels so nice. So yeah, here, here is the mouse. The side buttons feel quite nice. Scroll wheel's really nice. DPI button feels quite nice as well. Yeah, this mouse is really, really cool. Should probably clean this all up. Just by dumping it on the floor. It'll do. This feels so light. I think the exact weight is like something like 89 grams. Oh, this feels so much more comfortable than this. Way more comfortable. That is a really nice gold cable, by the way. This feels so professional. No, I'm not saying Logitech isn't professional. I just feel like MSI. Oh, this, this mouse is so cool. So let's just get this thing plugged in, and let's play around with it. Oh wow, I've got some RGB action here. Oh, this mouse looks so cool! The RGBs look really cool on this mouse. Let's just do some Skywars. Um, so I can get used to the mouse. Um, already I feel like the cable is a bit weird. I'm actually gonna turn off the light. Oh, this is so weird. Ah, oh, what? I'll get used to it. Ah, oh, this mouse is so weird. Not used to... What is that? Yo! What is that? Somehow I'm still alive. What is that? What? There's three people, two people left, and it's me and this person. Don't hit me off. Don't you dare. What is that? I hit him with the rod and he took 90 KB. What? No, he's hacking. That guy's taking no knock back. What? What is that hack? What is that hack, Lion? <laughs> no. Yeah, that guy's hacking, for sure. Hit him like 10 times and took no KV. No, to be fair, I should have been dead then. I can definitely hit 10 CPS butterfly click with this thing. But uh, I just gotta get used to the feel of the mouse. Like the shape. Because the Logitech, uh, Logitech G502 is so much, the shape is so much different. Gonna see if I can kill this guy. Yep. I think he's dead. What? 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 
yeah, if, 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 if I had like a, a, cup, a, a bit of time just to get used to the shape, I'd probably be able to get used to it. Whoops. Yeah, no, I'm so shaky today. <coughs> what? I wasn't even... I wasn't even hitting him. Dude, I'm so shaky that I can't even press buttons. <coughs> what is that aim? I will say it's very easy to get six... Oh, what? I will say it's very easy to drag click on this... Dude, I can't aim. I didn't even I didn't even splash that down. That shows how shaky I am. I was not even meant to. <laughs> okay, that was that was bad aim in a good way. No, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you, my guy. No, I'm gonna get teamed on. No, I can't even place blocks, even though I have plenty of time. I go stacked up. Also, I'm definitely. It's definitely easier to butterfly click uh, with this mouse compared to my Logitech one. Uh, where is the guy? He's probably like full diamond, and I'm like, oh no. Oh, it's this guy. They dead. Did I win? Let's go! Yay! Don't normally win Sky Wars. The pa look at that! Look at that drag click. Like instant, instant place blocks, and then I think I'm gonna use this mouse for a week and then do a review on it. Cause this, cause first impressions of this mouse, it is really, it is really nice for butterfly clicking, and it can properly drag click. Oh frick! What is this guy doing? Yo, get comboed! Oh my gosh, that guy got destroyed! I wasn't even, I didn't even have an, I didn't even have an item. Oh, that guy just got destroyed. This mouse is so good. That game never happened, alright? That game never Ah, Oh, frick! Yo, what was that? I will say, I can't reach- I think it's I can't reach the side buttons, really. Like, I can reach them, just like, it's hard to reach them. Oh, frick! What is that? What is- What is- What? Yo, he's got aimbot. That guy's got aimbot. Nah, no, I'm just shaky. This mouse is going like this whenever I try to- I think that's why I'm not used to light mice. But I think if I gave it time, I think I'd get used to it. But yeah, no, the, the the side buttons are very... Yeah, that's what you get, nerd. That's what you get, ha. Huh, for trying to be annoying. He's 4 HP. That guy just got wrecked. How are there only three people left? Yeah, oh, all the chests that may have been taken. What does this guy think he's doing? Wait, where is this guy? He's probably right behind me. Wait, no, there's a guy over there. What is that loot? What do you think that's gonna do? Hello? Yes! Yes! Let's go! I wasn't even butterfly clicking. I wasn't even butterfly clicking, I was literally normal clicking 6 CPS. That's so easy to get 10 CPS drag. I should like literally like spend some time on bridging. Anyway, um, that is that portion of the video and I'll see you in the review. And I'll talk about my experience with the mouse. Oh my gosh, what is this drag click? Okay, so I'm thinking about doing the review as different, almost headings for different aspects of the mouse. So let's just start off with a brief summary of the, my experience with the mouse. So when I bought this mouse, it was, I bought it for 25 US dollars, uh, which is the equivalent of roughly around 20 pounds from where I live in the UK. And... On Amazon.com, it's $30. So this mouse is about $30. And I've, in the time that I used it, I don't think I had any uh, issues or anything. And this mouse is great for drag clicking. Okay, so the mouse has some really nice light modes and really nice looking lights. 
the logo is lit up and so it is the base in a U shape. It, the design is quite simple but great looking and the different light modes and colourings are actually really nice. There's one which responds to your pressing buttons on different buttons on the mouse which is which I think is really cool. But yeah, there are lots of different light modes. You can adjust the speed using the different buttons. They're really easy to change because it's all on the mouse. You don't really need a software. But you can use a software if you want to uh, choose spe specific light modes. So the mouse on its own is 89 grams without the cable. It has a symmetrical ambidextrous design. So it's really easy to use with left hand and right hand. The size is reasonably small. Um, I think it's fine because my hand is... I'd say it might be a bit small for my hand, but it, I, it, I didn't find any problems with the size. The exact measurements are 118 by 62 by 37 millimeters. The glide is really smooth though I felt like it wasn't as smooth as my G502 but then again it is only it is only thirty dollars now the cable is probably the worst thing probably, probably the worst thing about this mouse the cable wasn't very flexible and it was quite an interesting texture I, I found it hard to, to sometimes it was hard to move and sometimes it was just really uncomfortable but it is usable and it's not no big deal the sides of the mouse have quite a comfortable texture, good for gripping. Um, I feel like they used a different uh, material on the side than on the top. And the buttons actually feel quite nice for drag clicking. They're quite easy to drag click with. The scroll wheel feels okay. It's it's a scroll wheel, I guess. Uh, not as precise as the G502, but still really nice. It's got a nice pattern on it to help your grip. For clicking methods, butterfly clicking was okay. The, the the size of the buttons was usable, but the it did have reasonably heavy clicks, and my fingers would get worn out very quickly. Jitter clicking, I found it much harder than I think any other mouse I've ever used because the clicks were really heavy. For double clicking, uh, the, the only place I could find that double clicks is above the scroll wheel. Which is a shame because it isn't really where you're going to click. So not great for butterfly clicking and for double clicking. For general gaming I found it was okay. But again the buttons are quite heavy. That's that's the only real problem with the click clicks. And for drag clicking the texture is really nice as I said. It can drag click and I got around three every time I dragged. Three clicks per second. Uh, the mouse uses Omron switches with ten... Um, 10 plus million clicks so the button durability is quite good and the buttons did feel quite cheap i don't know I, I that's just i just felt like they weren't very sturdy almost very creaky as well but i i didn't find it a big deal and i'll play a sound test so you can hear how all the different buttons sound So the buttons were quite heavy, the side buttons felt quite nice, but the D DPI f felt loose. But other than that, it's, the switches felt quite nice, very good for drag clicking. The mouse has a 1000Hz polling rate, which isn't high compared to some other mice. However, the, with the tracking I didn't see anything wrong with it, in my experience. Uh, the maximum DPI you can get is 5,000 using the software, but the the DPI button does also go up to 5,000. I, I have my DPI to 1,000 because that's what office mice have, so I needed to install the software in order to go down the DPI. And just a little bit of information, the sensor is a PixArt PMW3325 optical sensor so it isn't a laser sensor which is great the build quality definitely wasn't the best uh the mice felt quite creaky and loose especially the dpi button 
So, ill quality, I'd say, is another negative, but I don't really mind. It is still quite sturdy, to be fair, and it's really great. So, there, there are, are quite a few features that this mouse actually had. Um, I was quite surprised with the gold-plated connector for such a cheap mouse. That's really, really good. Um, speaking of which, it uses a USB 2 interface, so make sure you have that before buying this mouse. Um, it has six buttons, I'm sure you could see, and there's the DPI button actually has a f five levels of DPI, so that's pretty good. I did see on Amazon that people had said about durability issues. Um, after a couple of months, it started to the coating started to come off. Uh, things like that. I haven't, that hasn't happened to me, but I haven't been using it for that long. So, yeah. And the software is MSI Dragon, Dragon Center. Uh, it's a nice software. There are different screen modes, different light modes, as well as different swappable buttons, a customizable polling rate. So yeah, the, the, the software is, software is pretty good. I was quite impressed by it. Okay, so is this mouse actually for you and is it worth it? Well, to conclude, I got it for $25. I was not disappointed by what I got for $25. And and I think being able to drag click at that price is crazy good. Uh, and really, really good value for money. However, of course, build quality issues um but if you if, if you really don't mind about that then i definitely recommend this mouse but if you don't think this mouse is for you maybe you don't like the shape maybe you don't like the design msi have done a couple of other mice though i would recommend going for ones that say omron switches because i think those are the ones that drag click because that's what i went for and mine can drag click so I know that the GM41 is almost twice the price and very good quality, but of course I haven't tested it out. Um, but if you're looking for something that can drag click, I heard um, Rockat do good drag clicking mice. Uh, I think some Corsair mice drag click, but I would need to. You'd need to look into those. I don't really want to lead you to buying stuff that isn't what you want, but they're they're just some things to consider. So yeah, that's my review. Um, I hope this is helpful to you, this gives you any ideas about what kind of thing you want, whether you want this one or another one. Honestly, it's up to you. If these things aren't your sort of thing, like heavy clicks, or if you're a jitter clicker, then that is fine. But this did take me a really long time, so it'd be really great if you possibly liked or subscribed to my channel, even though, even though, um... I don't have a YouTube channel yet, but um, but I, I I will, I will. You'll see this on YouTube. Anyway, thank you for watching till the end. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next review or other video. Who knows? Anyway, see ya.